This week is National Eating Disorder Awareness Week. According to the National Eating Disorder Association, 30 million Americans struggle with an eating disorder. This year, the week has seemed come as you are and aims to educate people about eating disorders and break the stigma. One Elon student's battle with her eating disorder is inspiring her to share her story to help others. Ever since I was like five years old, I can remember having some sort of body dysmorphia. Sophomore Taylor Cruz has struggled with her body image for as long as she can remember. I remember just thinking my legs are so fat and I was just so embarrassed to wear like swimsuits and different things like that. As a competitive dancer, she always felt the pressure to be perfect. I was like, you know, I have to look super skinny on stage. I have to look perfect. You know, I started to really think of myself as who I was, how people saw me physically. So I thought that if I was skinnier, people would like me more. And I thought that if I was skinnier, I would like myself more. She says the people she looked up to only made the problem worse. I also had a, a really mean dance teacher too, who would just, you know, make physical comments to my friends and I about our weight and, you know, say that we were horrible dancers. Hearing it from a grown adult who, you know, was once my role model, just kind of like spiraled me out of control. Psychologist Bilal Gander says for athletes, pressure from coaches can strengthen an eating disorder. Influence of a coach who's very harsh without having any training in how to approach a topic that's sensitive. That causes some, some real harm. Her senior year of high school, Cruz was diagnosed with anorexia and says she had to give up dancing in order to heal. I made the choice to say, you know, I need help. I wanted to get better, you know? I didn't want to live like this all the time. I didn't want to have to go run three miles a day just to work off a piece of candy that I ate. You know, that was so unhealthy for my mind and I simply just couldn't take it anymore. After months in therapy, Cruz says she's recovered from her eating disorder. She's studying journalism and dreams of being an entertainment host. She wants to use her platform to share her story something she already does on YouTube and social media. I'm not ashamed of my story. I'm not embarrassed. I'm very proud of myself for, you know, really being the confident girl that I am today. If you or someone you know is struggling with an eating disorder, visit www.nationaleatingdisorders.com for resources and information.